Hi YouTube, this is our first video of uh, tutorial how to program Zelio Logic 2. In this video we will speak about macros. We go a step further for the macros. We see how we can uh, reduce code, Zelio Logic code, using macros. And see how easy we can program with the macros. Let's uh, make a new program. Let's choose this relay. Let's make again the same program. A simple start stop. This will be the start. This will be the stop. And this will be the overload. And we need, a, uh, we, and we, we need, and we need an output for our motor, which is, let's say, motor. Let's import the file from our second video tutorial. Here we have our macro that we will reuse it. With a simple way, we, we, we will reuse this macro again, just with that way. And we will see that we haven't lost our functionalities. And with a so simple way we reuse our code as we see the program is ready we push the start button the motor starts the stop mo button the motor stops we haven't lost any of our functionality and we reprogram the Zelia and we used the same code without thinking anything just we pull up the wires. So let's save this as to have it as macro. Let's call it motor start macro. And here it is. We can reuse this code as many times as we want. Now let's go a step further and build our macro a larger macro to see more tricks that will help us for our video tutorials or, or for whatever program we decide to implement with Zelio Logic let's open the third video tutorial file and let's create a new macro from these function blocks something we have to mention is that a macro cannot contain a macro in it this is very important. So uh, we can't combine macros to make another macro. Let's create this macro. Let's name it 
this identifier be D O I and the name would be layoff interlock. Let's push OK. But we have a here we have a huge problem. We didn't uh, we don't know what input is for. We can only understand the outputs only this nothing more we just display our macro as we know what it is for let's modify the properties we know that the MO3B05 block it's the output for the motor forward so let's name it motor forward start and the other is the motor reverse start and that's all we know so here we need to be a little more tricky let's see what we're gonna do Let's save this. Let's use again the import. Let's open this file again. And let's see what happens. The the B twelve block and the B fourteen block block. Now we so well. Uh, Use for inputs, and we use it to write down what input is for. Let's go to the modify properties. The input two is the forward feedback. Input 1 is the motor reverse feedback. The B14 is the overload contact. And let's be okay. Let's move this more. And let's modify the macro properties again. The BO2 input is the start forward. The BO6 is the start reverse. The BO7 is uh, sorry, I don't remember. I will take it.
is the motor start That is unsaved. We, we press X and we have must uh, push OK. Never mind. The B07 is the motor. Is the motor forward? This is oh no, this the motor reverse. This is the motor forward. Let's push OK. And let's check what we have done. This output is the motor forward start. This is the motor reverse start. This is the motor reverse. This one goes here. This is the start forward. This is the start reverse this is the feedback this is the forward feedback this is the overload contact this is the motor reverse and this is the motor forward these four inputs, these two inputs, let's say this input and this input are common, we are the same point, but in the macro we have to every input no matter where it's from just must have the same must have a different input of macro that's why we have two times the same input it's because of the Zelio software no one else reason that's all so that's we have to be careful about and now we can use this macro to make more programs. Let's comment the let's comment the macro and let's make the our circuit to be more nice. Let's delete this.
this file we will use it to our next video to implement a sliding door program with a more easy way that we will use these macros and everything will be more easy that, that's, that it is why we do that That's all. We can check again our program if we want, but there is no need. Let's check it to be sure. Let's play. Start. Stop. Stop. Let's push the start. Here's our motor working. Push the stop. Our motor stops immediately. Now we have a stop here. Oh, we haven't pushed the run, but. So we have no use of the functionality that we had before, that we have now. See you in our next video of the sliding door, a real world application. Thanks a lot, bye bye.